Good afternoon everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps. Today I'm going to try to show you how to configure uh, key feedback right from the start. So first to register to key feedback, you will want to go to uh, eBay, to my eBay, log in as your eBay account. Then go to the application tab and uh, you can either manage application or just click on your applications and go to the app center. That brings you into the eBay App Center, which is basically just like uh, the iPhone store, uh, but for eBay application. And you can see that there are a couple of different application. And we're going to want to find uh, key feedback to register to it. So key feedback is right here. I'm going to click to register. Takes a little minute to load. It's going to ask me to log into my account, which I'm doing. And right here, I will check yes. Yes, I agree to the term. And you can't see it because it's a little bit lower than what I can record. But there's a confirm subscription button, which I'm clicking on. This now goes through and uh, register key feedback. And now that key feedback is um, registered, I can go ahead and start it. Okay, so right off the bat, you can see that uh, it's telling you here that there's a couple of things that you can do. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by uh, going to the config tab and feedback. Right here, you see that you can um, leave feedback for U.S. buyers. And within, within the application, everything is split between U.S. buyers or international buyers. So the U.S. buyers, I'm going to leave feedback upon payment and um, upon the item shipped and when they leave me feedback. Really, this is redundant because once, you know, I've already left feedback for payment, obviously when I ship, they already have paid before. So, uh, but I'm just going to check it all just to have it there. And I'm going to save the information. So now, as soon as I did this and clicked on the save button, now the system is going through and is starting to leave feedback to, uh, to people. So by default, um, if you go to the feedback comments here, I've added some feedback comments, but by default, if there is nothing there, it will just leave uh, a default feedback. You can click on add record here and just say uh, whichever feedback message you want to leave. I'm not going to do it because I already have some um, set. But you can see that all of those are set here. You can edit them by clicking there or deleting them if you do not want them. Um, when the system leaves feedback for a buyer, it will use randomly one of those messages. So it will use one message. Then for the next person, it will use an Azure message. We don't know which one. It's going to be random, randomly selected within all of those messages. So now let's go back to the config and let's go to alert me. This by default uh, is checked, meaning that when you receive a neutral or negative feedback, neutral here or negative, it will uh, email you and let you know about it. If you really don't want to know about your negative or your neutral, you could uncheck those and save information. And if you want to know about every single positive, you could just click here and check. Now, how are those email messages sent? Uh, they're right now are being sent through our Kiwi SMTP. Basically, it goes through our Kiwi system and it goes out um, for every single message. So before I enable some of the message, one of the things that I want to do is go to config and configure my email SMTP. Because right now, this is not checked, it goes, when, when it says user SMTP, really what it means is if this is not checked, it uses the Kiwi SMTP. So I'm going to want to use my own SMTP, which means uh, my own email server, basically. If you do not know what it is, you could really 
Just simply use your uh, the Kiwi SMTP and not worry about it. You could also um, set up for a Gmail account or Yahoo account or AOL or Live and use it for, for the system. Now, I already have a Gmail account, so I'm going to click here on uh, Set Gmail Default uh, uh, Apps. I could try to fill all of that up, but it's a really... I'm not sure I understand what all of that is. Well, really, I do because I'm the developer. But if you don't, you can just use those presets, which filled up the SMTP URL, the port, and uh, the SMTP security. So now I need to fill up the username that I'm going to, uh, that I use to log into my Gmail account. So for me, this is, um, I'm just going to go ahead and type it. And this is my Gmail account. Uh, I'm going to put my password. Now the from email that uh, I will want my email to be sent, I will want to send it as this email right here. However, you could just have your email like this and it will send it as your email. Or, as it's indicated here on the side, you could put your email within brackets like this and put your name in front. And what this does is when the person will receive your uh, the email from the system, instead of just seeing your email, they will see your name with the email on the back. And my email address is this one. Now, obviously, for Gmail, it is the same as my username. But sometimes that, that is not the case. For example, I believe it's with AOL. Uh, the user is just like this without anything at the end. So now that my SMTP is configured, I'm going to enable it and send messages through my SMTP and click Save. Uh, now the messages are being saved. Uh, so that information is being saved. I can send myself a test email to make sure this is working properly. And if I click the Send Email here, I should receive an email within a minute that tells me that my uh, server is configured properly. If I do not receive this email, then there might be a problem right here. Now, one of the things that you can do uh, to try to figure out how it works is contact us support, or you can click on this link here that will take you to a page on our website where we try to put every single, um, uh, every single way of connecting that we could have uh, to help you guys. But I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this uh, video. So that was to show you how the system is configured. But really, I would rather that the email go through the Kiwi SMTP and not worry about it. So I'm going to uncheck that, and I'm going to save the information. And now, because it is unchecked, it goes through the Kiwi system. Now, the email that themselves. Uh, let's look at feedback reminder. We have two feedback reminder. We have feedback reminder one and feedback feedback reminder two, and we have the same thing for international buyers. So I'm going to click on the first one, and um, you can see here that by default, default it filled up some message that looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to use the default for this. Um, it will send this email after 10 days. Now, if you look here, it explained to you that this email reminder will be sent 10 days after it has been paid. Um, so once the person has paid, you might ship it on the next day, but it's counting 10 days, because I have 10 here, from the time it was paid. Now, because of the way I want my system to work, I would prefer to have 8 here, so that it sends the reminder in 8 days. Um, I would like to be BCC'd, which is blank carbon copy, to receive email so that I can make sure that the system works. And later on, I will come back here and, you know, uncheck those. Uh, and I will enable this reminder. Now, it's not enabled up until I either click this button or this button that will actually save and send me a test message. If you click save and send me an email message, it will actually go 
um, it was here and the email SMTP it will use this email here to send you a message uh, and basically the message will just take a random item fill it up with the information and uh, show you what it looks like so let's go back to my reminder here and I didn't save so I'm going to have to do it again and now that I click save information this reminder is enabled if there is something that matches now from now on, now on uh, this it will be sent now let's look at reminder one um, for international buyers in this case because I know that international uh, shipping takes longer I actually don't want to remind them till at least 15 days because I am pretty sure that they haven't received it or received the item until at least 15 days so I'm going to put this one to 15 days now let's look at the US reminder too so the US reminder too as you can see here the number of days that you select here is actually the number of days after the reminder one was sent so if you select an enable reminder two with never without enabling reminder one then you will never send this email since it's looking for the number of days after reminder one has been sent so I'm going to put this one at 10 days which should be technically 10 days plus the 8 days so 18 days and I'm going to save it and for the um, reminder two for international I'm not going to use it because I believe that I don't want to pick too much on my international buyers to leave me feedback um, that's just my policy so I'm not going to enable this one now we have uh, post receive so let's look at US post receive message this message is being sent after the let me try to make it look a little bit better here post receive there um, this message is being sent to a buyer after you received feedback after you received uh, a feedback that the buyer left you this is not you that left feedback it's when you receive feedback this message will be sent to the buyer now all of this message here is totally uh, customizable you know you could type whatever you want in the message and it's fully HTML as well so you could add your own banner your logo we actually have another video that shows you how to add a banner and a footer to make it look a little bit better but if the text that comes with uh, key feedback does not suit you you're more than welcome to use your own text in it so when I receive feedback for um, from buyers I want to send them this really nice email that basically says thank you and same thing I will go and look for the um, international buyers and same thing when I receive feedback from international buyers I want to enable this now the message can be totally different from international or uh, United States sales while I am in the post receiving um, I want to show you this respond to neutral and respond to negative one of the things that key feedback does that is I think a, a very uh, good for sales is whenever you're going to receive a neutral um, message or a neutral feedback in this case it will go ahead and post a reply to the feedback now this reply here is very important because even though you're probably very upset that you received uh, a neutral feedback from a buyer what you want to do is you want to try to promote good behavior so that when somebody looks at your feedback they will uh, they will think wow what this you know this person had a bad experience but the seller is willing to to take care of him now um, if you really don't want to do that you don't have to do it you can uncheck it if you decide to be uh, nasty with your buyers you could say um, you know whatever you, you want here it's really it's totally customizable uh, we don't suggest that you say anything bad to your to your buyers 
but it's totally customizable here. Now I'm, go I'm not going to save this because I don't want to leave a message. And I'm going to show you that for the negative, it's the same thing. You could have a totally different message and uh, you can enable it or not. I choose not to leave um, reply and do it manually. Now let's go to the post uh, living tab. Now the post living is a message that is being sent when you leave feedback for a buyer. So uh, this right here I want to enable and it basically says, you know, well we left you positive feedback um, you know, we would like you to leave us five stars. Some people advise against it. So you could totally change, you know, the, whole, the text here. If you do not want to talk about it, you could remove this uh, and, and totally customize your, your message. You know, you could, you could simply say, hey, we just want to make sure you're happy um, with your purchase. You know, just let us know if there's a problem. And when you save, same thing, as soon as you leave a feedback, because I have it enabled, it will send this email to the buyer. And just as other tabs, you can um, select a different message for international buyers, or enable, or enable it or not enable it. In this case, for international buyer, I want to leave this text so that they can know about it, and I'm going to enable it and save the information. So we've gone through pretty much everything. Uh, I want to show you quickly the black list. Basically, if a buyer contacts you and say, you know, I really don't want to receive those emails anymore, you need to remove me. You could go here and you can say, um, John Doe, this is their eBay user ID, does not want to receive any um, email anymore. So by adding them here, um, Let's see, it's an upset customer. This is this comment here is just for you to remember why you added it. And you can save it. And now John Doe will not receive any email through the system. Now John Doe will still receive feedback and um, message will be responded to if you have selected this here. Uh, everything will work the same. It's just it will not receive any message. Uh, now, before I let you go, I want to show you quickly uh, that if you click, for example, on Feedback Reminder here on the header, it will show you some of the replaceable field that you can use within the message. Basically, if you put bracket, bracket, uppercase, city name in a message, let's say in this one, for example, uh, I have title, what it will do is the system will replace this bracket bracket title all uppercase closing bracket will replace that by the title here it will replace the name by the name of the person so you can customize your uh, your messages to be uh, customized to the to the buyer or to the need and the reason I showed you that is because there is a remove me link that you can put on the bottom of your messages, which basically will uh, create a link for the buyer uh, at the bottom of the message for the buyer to actually add themselves to the blacklist. If they click on it, just adds them to the blacklist so they do not receive it. If you want to show, um, you know, give them a link to um, to leave feedback, you could put this within the message, and they will automatically have a link that they can click on um, to leave you feedback. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have any question, like as usual, we're here to help. Feel free to send me a message or go to our support site and ask us questions. We're here to help. Thank you. Have a great day.